Hello, everybody. Thanks to the museum for the invitation and congratulations for the exhibition. And um, apologize for my English. It's very, very bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I will try to explain myself with some drawings, but please uh, help me. Um, well, I don't like to be judge. I love design. I love designers. I'm designer too. I'm architect and designer. Um, I love uh, companies, producers. I love marketing. Uh, and I understand that it's right to talk about judgment. It's very important. But I've been judge for 20 years uh, and I don't want any more to be judged. <laughs> I don't sleep well because I did a lot of mistakes. When I was young, I started a magazine uh, publishing the best designer and was a bluff, or the best uh, seller uh, chair and was a disaster. So I did a lot of mistakes and from uh, the last uh, five, six years, I'm not anymore uh, judge, but I am a promoter. I'm a lover of design, and, uh, and I want to explain in this way my speech. This is a good design made by Javier Mariscal, a Spanish designer, in 79, before Memphis. It's because this design that it resources call Mariscal for to participate in Memphis. So we was, we was postmodern before uh, Memphis. But I don't want to talk about this object. It's just a joke. I want to talk about the three legs that design need for me. For support design, you need um, a flat surface, you know, with three legs, you have the maximum stability. If you have four, five legs, always one is dancing. But you need minimum three, and not two. With two, you fall. <laughs> well, for support design, of course, we need designers, was the first lecture. Creators, creativity, talent. The second that you need is manufacturers, even shops, uh, marketing, uh, produce and sell the objects. If not, you have not designed. But we need to, the third leg is promotion, if you want judging, but I prefer helping. With these three legs, you can uh, become a good uh, designer country. You can become Italy. Uh, by the way, I'm from Barcelona, but uh, like architect, I will be to be Italian. <laughs> so please call me Capella, not Capella. <laughs> Capella is my name, it's like Paella, but I prefer Capella. Looks Italian. Uh, well, come on. What happens if you have not good designers? Doesn't work because it's mediocrity, it's just copy, it's bad design, it's business for short term. But what happens if you don't have uh, industry, like in Spain, for example? Uh, it's a bluff, it's a bluff, because maybe you have talented people, you have uh, good shows and magazines, but 
doesn't work. Uh, finally, the designers go to Italy, of course, for produce. And it's the end of design. And what happens if you don't have good museums, judging, uh, magazines, promotion? Uh, you don't exist because we are in the society of communication. So if you don't communicate, you don't exist. Even if you do good design, uh, good products, uh, good price. Well, this leg, the third leg, promotion, we can imagine like a table with many, many legs. You know, for a table, you need four legs, but always one is dancing. But in promotion, you need a lot of legs <laughs> for support, heavy promotion, like Italian. You need a lot of things, all help to you to become a leadership on design. You need first, you need associations, schools, a university, a prices, a magazines, books, museums, uh, TV programs. Uh, that's a matter. It's all help for support this promotion on design. But come to judge. I will explain for me who is the real judge on design. For me, is the editors of the magazines, principal, because they give to the society the best. They did the selection and they show this is the good design. If the magazine is in Italy, it's the maximum, like Domus. Maybe it's in New York, it's good too, because it's the capital of the world. But if you are doing a magazine in Greece or Lisbon, uh, you have not this power. So the journalists and critics support and write in these magazines. But also, it's very important to write in newspapers, not in design specialized uh, magazines. Uh, I did um, more support for Spanish design writing in El País, it's a Spanish new, new paper, than doing a lot of exhibitions that at the end only the design people go there. So it's very important to talk to the society, not just to talk and to promote into the world of design. Of course, curators. I've been curator of uh, a lot of exhibitions on uh, um, Stark, um, Castiglioni, uh, Maurer, uh, Tusquets. Uh, and this is a power too for you, for them, and for to promote design. But curator in Spain is called comisario. Comisario is police, is sheriff. So, I don't like at all. But there is many other people judging. It's very complex a society of design. Is the president of the associations. He has a lot of power, but just for four years. Uh, the design centers, usually driven by very bureaucratic people because um, his responsibility is from politicians, not from the design world. Uh, are judging to the principals of the schools and in the universities. They make a lot of influence in uh, students, but too in uh, magazines and in shows and promotion. And historians, of course, they are doing the basement the bottom um, space for them. Um, but in Spain and in Europe, at the end of this pyramid, there exists always the 
politics, the public, the state officials. That's very dangerous. Because all these activities, or some ones of these activities, are paid and promote for the politics. But not the politic, the, the state official who work on this field. In Spain and in, in Europe, um, there are two powers, public powers, involved on promotion design. One is the Ministry of Industry, or Department of Industry, and the other is the Department of Culture, or uh, Ministry of Culture. I know for you Americans, it's very strange that, but in Europe, the tradition is, the culture is one of the, the, of the ministries of each government, always. That's important. That means that culture for us is a main issue. Of course, the budget of the Ministry of Culture is like this, and the Ministry of um, uh, Military is like this. But the culture is accepted um, in uh, our uh, countries. Um, at the end, politics wants to win the elections, so they only support design for to be in the media and uh, to be um, uh, considered for all the design wall for to be elected again. So sometimes the politic on design is just a publicity for government. And many, many cases, not always, the state officials, they don't know nothing about design and they uh, do mistakes and they pay for idiot issues. <laughs> we spend a lot, a lot of money in idiot issues that not promote at all design, but promote themselves or their friends. What do public in Spain and in Europe? The schools and the universities is mainly public in Europe. Maybe it's another surprise for you? The good ones are public. The museums are public, totally public. There exists too the foreign trade is uh, organizations who promote design and uh, commerce around the world. Design centers are paid for public and sometimes big expos are paid for public. The private have two good schools, some ones, and the universities. It's private, the media, the editors of books, magazines, TV programs, and some one museum. For example, Alessi has a museum, Vitra has a museum. So some very good uh, companies sensible on design organize and pay their own museum. Sometimes these museums give some money from the public. And in the middle, there is um, a lot of activities. For example, fairs is public and private. The professional associations are private, but they receive money from public for to organize uh, activities. And awards can be organized by private, but in many countries, there are two a uh, big prize, big award, the Oscar of design, who is organized by the government. For example, in Spain, are the kings of Spain every year give the National Design Award to a company and to a designer. 
So we live in these um, two fields, always industry and creativity design. In public, in Europe, pay two scholarships for around the world. The public, too, do laws. That's very important. There is a, some kind of protection for design. For example, in 2003, uh, Spain did a new law for protection on industrial design following the uh, community, European community rules who protect the copyright uh, for design. The public, too, can do special plans. For example, for to save the industry of cars, they pay a lot of money. For to save the textile, because Chinese are um, uh, growing and growing and, and, and you have not uh, competitive, they pay design for improve. Uh, they pay money for improved design or for uh, tiles, for example. So they push, they help some special uh, plans. They pay for innovation. If you want to improve your uh, investigation, you must uh, achieve some money from the public. They pay museums and infrastructure. They pay too for cultural politic. Uh, there exists a budget for uh, cultural design issues because I repeat, design is one side, the creativity, creativity side in, into culture. And they pay for design centers, associations, foreign trade. And another very interesting issue is sometimes governments commissioning design. That's very important. For example, everybody knows when Mitterrand asked uh, or the uh, French government asked the Wisson or Stark to do projects to, to design uh, interior or furniture for them. Or everybody knows the Millennium Project made by um, Tony Blair um, helping uh, English design. Sometimes government believe on design and commissioning directly things. Even, for example, the gift for Christmas. I, I am I'm advisor of the major of Barcelona and every year he asks me uh, what I can to give like present for Christmas. And uh, I ask some young designer to do something special uh, on, on design. Uh, well, uh, they give uh, awards and in some cases they pay for the design fee. Why? Because in Spain the manufacturers don't want to pay designers. Why? To pay designers. It's an extra cost. Uh, they are not so clever like Italian designers that know that with good design, you take more money. Uh, is, is, uh, in Spain, um, the government pay the fee for the designer for to introduce design into the companies. Well, and now I want just to explain a little bit uh, samples of this kind of promotion, always public promotion. This is FAT. FAT means uh, Promotion of Architecture and Design. It's an independent association made 100 years ago uh, who receive sometimes money from the public, but just for to do things, not for to pay the annual party, of course. But if FAT organize uh, some exhibition or some workshop, or some symposium, they give money. Um, in 2000, 
three, we convinced to the Barcelona Council, the Catalonia government, and the Spanish government to organize a big year of design. It was more than uh, 300 activities uh, around all the Spain with a public um, goal. So it was not to be the world of design talking about our needs, but to give to the society that design is a new tool very important for to improve the quality of life. It's because I ask this clip for to be the symbol, because clip is the opposite of the sophistication of idea of design for many, many people around the world. Design means expensive, uh, exclusive, uh, designed by uh, author, designer, the name, and at the same time, design is a clip. It's useful, it's beautiful, it's cheap. So we want to uh, try to change um, the bad, um, bad um, association of design with just luxury. For me, design is all. Uh, design is to think before to do. So this is human activity, so design is all. But for people, design is just uh, associated to uh, luxury. For to organize this, it was very popular. Um, we find 5 million euros from the politics, but we find five more with private. This kind of uh, to-do uh, project is very typical in Spain. Um, mix public and private. Well, this was the parties, these are the different uh, activities, uh, helping young people, but at the same time, big exhibition about the masters. Uh, we involve uh, the kings of Spain, and at the same time, we did promotion activities around the world for to promote uh, Spanish design. This is an exhibition that I did, is 300 person Spanish design, is 100 chairs, 100 lamps, and 100 uh, posters from the last 100 years. And this exhibition is paid by the Spanish government and visited uh, Shanghai, Beijing, Athens, uh, Lisbon, Sao Paulo, uh, Mexico, uh, around the world. It's totally paid for them for, to promote Spanish design. Uh, this is the implication of the authorities. This uh, w the, is the opportunity to, to, to print books and to improve design. And for finish, if I, uh, I have just one minute, I want to be judge for, for last time in my life, I promise. <laughs> last time in my life, but uh, because Craig asked me, and I want to finish with a joke, uh, because I don't like black or white, like Robert Venturi says, between black and white there is a lot of grays, infinity for grays, but this was a good opportunity to think about the difference between uh, American and uh, European design. So it's not one is investigation, the other experimentation, but I think in America is more investigation and in Europe is more experimentation. Uh, experimentation means uh, personal values, not just technical. Uh, for me, you are more high tech and we are high tech, but when it's need, we can be low tech. We are not obsessed on that. Uh, maybe your approach is more commercial and our approach is more artistic. I think it's very easy to, to see. Uh, because you are more interested, that's fun, funny. You have trademark and we have copyright. So you are thinking in market and copyright is thinking in 
the uh, value of the idea, so the creativity. We protect that. Uh, when you ha was in the streamline, we was in the bell design. It's like Marilyn Monroe or uh, Sophia Loren. It's different. <laughs> uh, you are more practical. Uh, all is well organized, all works very well. Congratulations. Maybe we are <laughs> more conceptual, uh, more uh, we, we can change and we can improve. Stealing or good form. You think in mass, in team, we are more individual people. Uh, uh, market or culture, uh, you are thinking more in future, but we have a big, a long history. Uh, we have Greeks, Romans, of, in Italy is full of art, so this is impossible to get, get out of the, of the... And for finish, uh, just an anecdote. Steiner Amland from the dance, Danske designer told an interesting anecdote. In a course of Danish students with Chinese students, American students and Danish students, in a, in a school design, uh, they asked, they warned at each group to have a different question uh, when they was confronted uh, with a new exercise product. So they said, this is, you will do this exercise, new product. And the question of uh, American people was, the American students, what are the evaluation criteria? The question of the European students was, and why this product? So they put, they criticized, no, it was more conceptual. But for finish, the best uh, question was the Chinese students is, when you need to be ready? <laughs> and maybe, how many do you want? <laughs> so, Craig, thanks. And the next symposium, it will be about Chinese design, I believe. <laughs> Thank you.